Welcome back to the Rugby Oaks. My name is George, and today I'm going to be predicting the match day 23 for the box when they take on Argentina in Santiago next Saturday. Now look, the squad was announced yesterday, a 28-man squad. Um, so I'm just going to give you my 23, uh, starting 23 predictions. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. I think it's a pretty solid team. Um, yeah, let's get stuck in. So starting off with uh, number one, the Lucid prop, Gerard Stenekamp. He's come off the bench against the... The Kiwis both both weeks now, and he showed that he. I think he deserves a start, so I think we give him a go, give Ox a bit of a break. Um, definitely got to start with Malcolm Marks then at hooker. He's been a little bit rusty. His line out throwing's not been at the top of his game. Um, he's not Malcolm Marks of the old. We uh, we're getting him back from his injury, so get him a start, and I think that'll give him um, him the boost he needs. And then to round off the the front three, Thomas the Toy, Thomas the Tank Engine. Best prop in England, in England. But he is in the Premiership. He's incredible. He covers both Lucid and Tighted. So I can see him starting. And then if, if there's any sort of emergency, we can shift him around. Then I'm going a little rogue here. But not rogue, sorry. Uh, but I'm going with Salman Murat. And I think he should be the number four. And I think he's going to be the captain as well. Um, he's coming back from his uh, concussion. And I think he'll um, partner up really well with Rune Nakia. Rune Nakia, the line-out general. Um, give Irvin a bit of a break as well, a well-deserved break. Um, so give Salman the start um, and the captaincy. That's my opinion. Um, then the the back three. I'm giving Sia a break. I know he's been part. Of, he's been chosen in the squad, but I think obviously he's getting his nose readjusted. Um, so I think he's there mainly as the captain to support everyone and give everyone the oomph that he that he gives. So Mark and starting for me. Escom starting at six. Ben Jason Bick, uh, Dixon back in the squad or back in the starting lineup. Um, give Peter Steff the toy a rest. Obviously, he's staying at home anyway. And Jasper Visser. That's a solid, solid pack of eight. I think we need a bit of beef because the Argentinians, uh, they, they pack a, a punch. And you saw what they did to Australia last week. And look, Australia is not at the, best, the top of their game. But um, we need a bit of beef there. So that's our, uh, our pack. Well, that's the pack I'm going with. And uh, while we're there, you guys uh, give us a like and a subscribe there we said every time we're trying to build our, our little rugby oaks community want to want to grow uh, quite large now we've got lots of you watching but uh, not as many of you subscribing so give us a sub and have a laugh with us um yeah thank you very much <laughs> right then starting off with the back line um, i'm giving the nine jersey to Jaden hendrickson uh, he came on uh, last week and he looked good he looked um Looks solid, and I think he deserves a start. And this is the perfect test for him to start as well, and get get some more test minutes under his belt. And then definitely Marnie Lubok starting this this test. Uh, Marnie's been been playing uh, playing in the Curry Cup, and he's been out of out of favour. Not out of favour because no one gets dropped. But Sasha Feinberg and Gomazula has been showing his absolute class and why he deserved his spot. Um, but giving Marnie the ten jersey, I think, will give him the boost he needs. Um, then at 11, Makazola Mapimbi, the new dad. Welcome back. I, I reckon he starts. He's an absolute speedster. Um, and then the center partnership, Lukanya and um, Jesse Creel. Look, they were the only two centers in the squad, or technical out and out centers in the squad that was announced. But I can see Lukanya starting inside center, as he originally was an inside center uh, back in, when he started his career. And Jesse Creel outside center. Um, and then give Kaden Moody another start. He played really well. I mean, look, he, he's just come back again from his injuries. He's had hand surgeries and whatnot, I think. So he's back and I think give him the start because, again, that's the versatility of our back line. He can shift to center if we really need and and um, he gives us that extra height as well um, in the back line. And then rounding off the starting 15, Apalele Fassi playing fullback, the weekend special, get him back in his position. I did think Vili LaRue would be coming on the store and I would have probably started him because you want to get him closer to his 100 caps. But Apalele Fassi um, deserves a starting spot. And again, he can shift from fullback to wing. So that gives us some, uh, some options. And then the bomb squad. I've gone with a 6-2 split. I might be wrong. It might be 5-3. It might be 4-4. It might be 8-8 eight, eight zip. Who knows? It won't be. We know it won't be. But this is what I reckon it will be. Jan Krobla uh, coming in. Okay, he hasn't played for this team. Uh, I think he played uh, well since Australia games. Um, but he's he's back. Well, the first Australia game I think he played. Um, so he's back now. Get him on the bench. Um, Oxen Chair and Vincent Koch will be the two props. I just think we would need a bit of experience on the bench in case things aren't going 100% our way. 
as these things can happen. Um, so I know they've both played throughout the tournament, but um, props these days only really get a half. So they're not absolutely uh, zapped of energy. Um, so those, those are my, my front rowers. Then I've got Eben Elizabeth, get him, get him to join that record or equal the record uh, with Victor Matfield. I'm sure this, yeah, this will be 127. Um, so that's, again, experience on the bench. Quacha Smith, utility, the utility knife, utility forward um, of the team. He's on there, jersey 20. Probably should have given him 21 because I think everyone, yeah. Anyway, we can sw switch that around. Um, then El Rilo, El Rilo, sorry. He'll be um, the, the the last one of my, my six forwards on the bench. He played hell of a well against the, the Kiwis in both games. And um, he is coming back into his Bulls form. I've said it before. Uh, excited and he just brings a slightly different game uh, to what uh, Jasper brings but um, it's it's what the box needs you need a little bit of difference you don't want it's great to have two brutes but I'm glad he brings a little something different and then the two um, uh, sort of backs we've got on the bench there we've got Grant Williams and Andre Pollard Grant Williams to in inject some pace in the second half when the RGs are tired but look the RGs do play a different game when they're at home and then Andre Pollard to come on he can come on as 10 I don't see him coming on as 10. I see him coming on as 12 in this game. I could be wrong there. And then I think Jesse Creel will get a break. Lukanyam will shift to 13 and Andre goes to 12. Um, but yeah, that's that's my team. Sorry, I flew through that. Um, let me know what you think. Tell me in the comments if I'm absolutely mad. I think that's a pretty bloody solid team. Um, but yeah, like, subscribe, share. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.